All right, guys, I have to get down low for this one because the height of the camera to where the bench is, this is where I need to be. Nonetheless, let me go through you something, through something with you that's a, a great new product we're just starting to do. This right here may not look like much right now, but that is actually the basis of next pipe. When we knock out these little pieces in here, which are all precision laser cut, and this piece of stainless steel, on here I actually, so these little fellows come out. Once they're out of this section, there's a whole bunch of cuts in this. Once they come out, you can bend the pipe because the back is actually not cut all the way through. So we bend that, and that is a pie cut elbow. Now with all of those little fellows knocked out, it looks a little something like this bit here. And you simply just bend it around. That's a 90 degree elbow off the back of that once they get it all tacked up. This will be a 45 down here. If you look at this funny little, I don't know, rib section here of a skeleton, this is gonna be the cutout for our X pipe. So what this will do, is once I do the other one as well, we'll go back and we'll actually cut these little three bits out of it, and that will actually give us the opening for our X-Pipe. So that's all pre-cut in it. If you look at this fellow here, you can see these little pieces here. They take a little bit of wiggling. I, the other one actually, you know, did the wiggling already off the camera, so you know. But these little pieces here just knock out with ease, and then you, uh, you've got that perfect cut for your X-Pipe in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and tack this little fellow up and give you a look at how it all goes together and what you can expect from it. So the camera angle for this, even though you probably can't see my face, is actually so you can see the job and what I'm about to do. Uh, so what we're going to do here is quite simply, I'll just pull it together and I'll attack each one of these together and that'll give us the basis of all our bends. We can just sort of make sure they sit really nicely. Pretty hard to get them wrong, there is quite a substantial section in the back here so that it will uh, hold its form when you start to you know, create the elbow. Like I say, we'll come back and cut this out at the end. the fact that I dipped my tongues in about four times there. Uh, you'll notice I'm running a pulse setting there. i am currently got uh, 50 hertz with 50 amps. I just find that when I'm tacking the pie cuts together, the pulse setting is really, really nice. It just helps it, uh, the two metals join together without having holes and stuff like that without need for filler. It's a little bit awkward to hold, so I just find that much easier. I've actually been welding a fair bit lately with pulse settings. Um, very high frequencies around the 50 hertz. I just find that it gives me a lot more heat control. When you're doing continuous runs like this, uh, the material heats up significantly because you're doing so many welds so close together. And I just find that the uh, pulse just helps you control the heat a little bit better. All right, so that's all tacked together now. Just light little tacks. Uh, we've got a couple across the back here for that 45. And then a series of tacks through here for that. You can see it's starting to take shape there. That's gonna be I can say the back cut out for our X pipe. This would be for a V8 situation. Uh, with these mirrored together, this one here, another one beside it. That's sort of the basis for our V8 exhaust. We'd normally run that up to a set of extractors, run this down the tunnel, do a set of mufflers back further. For what it's worth, uh, we're running a 2.4mm tungsten on a Tigware cup. These Tigware cups are awesome. They don't break. It's such a nice thing. Great coverage too. Uh, I'm running 15 litres a minute on the Argon. We're using a 1.2, I think it is. Yeah, it's a 1.2 mil filler rod. I cut all my fillers in half and I like them big and long. And I like to turn the ends over as well. It's like that. Uh, I find the turn end prevents you from poking yourself in the eye because no one needs that on any day. Uh, or if someone walks past, you're not going to catch it either. But also, at the very end of it, I can actually use it right down the very, you get the most out of the filler rod by feeding and holding that little end piece, so it's just the way I do things. I'll throw some welds on this, um, we'll start doing this piece as well, and then we'll get the two put together.
Alright, so I just came into the office to show you guys the full finished effect in the daylight. Obviously, well, it's all out at night time, so in the day, things, you know, they light up a little bit nicer and you can really see the finished product. So I'm just going to flip the camera around and I'll show you the end result. Uh, we do this as the X-Pipe. We're also releasing a 45 degree elbow. Uh, we'll also be doing 180 degrees and 90 degrees. And we can do it in whatever pipe size you want. The most two common sizes are going to be the two and a half inch and the three inch pipe size. But uh, you can request the size and we can also do that. It's not a problem. So here it is, cold light of day. Look at that. Came out an absolute treat. So as you saw earlier, these are these pieces that we had. We've sort of knocked out all the bits, welded them together. Then we knocked out those other couple of little last pieces that make up the X-pipe. Uh, and weld them both together for the X-pipe section. Now these are going to be available very soon on our website, kluamufflers.com. Uh, so you can check it out there. We'll also probably put them on eBay as well, available in store. Now most of them will be a made to order because there's so many different variants available. Uh, so in most cases, you just have to let us know because it's going to be so many different pipe sizes. You know, you might want to do a twin two inch system uh, with an X pipe. You might want to do a single three inch system. So just let us know uh, and we'll put together a kit availability is within a week. So put it all together for you and we can send it out to you and you'll be making beautiful handmade exhaust systems for days. It's going to be amazing.